Welcome back to part three here of the um, game mapping tutorial. Um, so we're picking right up where we left off. We have fire hydrants and stoplights and our streets are looking pretty good. Um, so it's time to start making some buildings. So we're going to jump right in here and I'm just going to position my first building on the corner here of uh, Main Street and I'm just going to drop it in trying to find the position first um, yeah I think I want to adjust the height remember when I do that it's doing it on both sides of my street plane um, distance to the curb looks good a little bit wider and deeper I want to have room to have like a alleyway here so still doing quite good on that um, so yeah we'll go with that as my as the size of my first building um, so I'm gonna turn my map off so that's not a distraction as I get in here and I'm gonna make my cube editable um, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go into my view my front view and we need to go into the lines um, objects here and then I'm gonna hit K and then L on my computer to bring up the the loop cut uh, so I'm just gonna cut my just one cut for right now so I have symmetrical cut off so that means I'm just gonna just do one cut and it's gonna cut the entire cube on all sides at this at this location and I'm done alright what we're gonna do now is return back to our perspective view grab our move tool and go into polygons mode and I'm just gonna select all of my outside edges here of my polygon right click extrude inner and just bring it in just a little bit I'm gonna hit E to go back to my move tool and then I'm actually I should have just right clicked and just gone extrude and this will do a nice even extrude inner there. I've done the extrude inner now it's gonna pull in slightly so now I have this little recessed building facade on all sides. Alright um, so you can see that. Let's go back into our front per front view here and let's go back in and we're gonna make a couple more um, line cuts with the loop tool. Um, so I'm going to do a cut here and then I want to do a symmetrical cut um, the long way about there um, and this is going to make me work on my front door um, again this is you know this is just me showing you a workflow there's a lot of different creative elements that can, that can go into this um, same thing going to select this and we're gonna go extrude inner ever so slightly and then I'm just gonna hit E move tool hold down the windows key and punch in a little bit so this is gonna be my front my front main entrance here and as a lot of buildings have I'm going to grab the um, polygons above the door and I'm just gonna pull that out so that we have a little roof Oops. That's actually kinda cool a little roof facade there and then if I go into points mode I'm going to grab these and just kind of pull them back a little bit so we've got this awning for our front door and I'm also then going to go back to polygon mode and I'm going to pull out the front door um, I guess mat you could call it and the same thing I'm going to grab the edge points here and just pull those back so it's kind of a smooth smooth approach to my door. Um, the last thing I'll do, um, I'm going to make just one more symmetrical cut here. Um, K and then L on my keyboard. I'm going to cut that middle piece and return back to the polygon mode and I'm just going to hold down my Windows key and just pull that out a little bit. So I've got a door frame in two entryways in and out of this building. Um, I could continue to cut this up and make windows uh, 
if I wanted to, um, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm just going to create a, a new cube here. Bring this into place. Um, yeah, center this. And resize it a bit. Make it editable. And make it have it in object mode. And what I'm trying to do here is, is just shape the size of I want of a window. Um, let's bring that in there. And I'll make a, a duplicate to have over here. Um, the same thing here. We're going to go polygon mode. Extrude inner. And then we're going to hit E and then hold our windows or command key. And punch in. And then that second cube that I just created... I'm going to resize a bit, um, something like that, and maybe a little bit narrower. Don't need to be quite so big. And then we're just going to punch that in like so. And we've got, we've got a window. And then in polygon mode, I'm just going to create a little window sill, something like that. Okay, so let's make sure we group the first window here. Alt G, let's call it window. And let's position it in a way we want it. Something like this. And then I'm just going to start duplicating until I have it looking the way that I want. Let's go over and then let's grab these and go up. We'll do four. And one more top level window there. Maybe grab them all and just slide them down ever so gently. And cool, we've got now a pretty good looking front face of the building. Just do a quick render preview here. Um, yeah, it looks all right. Um, I'm going to group these up again and just call this front windows. I'm going to duplicate it and rotate it 180. And then I'm going to position this to the back my light off really quickly so I can see where this is going call this back windows or I guess alley windows and I'm gonna take both of these and I'm gonna just duplicate and I'm going to rotate them 90 degrees um, make sure those are looking good I might take my side windows and just ever so gently get them a little closer to the building they seem to be hanging off a little bit too far yeah they weren't even touching actually because I think my I distorted the shape of my cube a little bit cool all right we're in good shape um, so that's pretty quickly uh, we're coming into form here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mo text. It's a quick and simple way to do this. Um, I should have just been doing it, doing all my editing right there, where in the central axis there, but that's okay. I just got to kind of click and drag this into place. Easier to go to the. Let's see. Let's go to the back view. And let's resize this down a little bit. And we're just going to pick like a like an address number to use to make this look nice and nice and realistic here. And we'll just say 1331. Oops. Got to make sure that uh, I'm in the object there as well. 
click outside of it and now it's going to take shape cool I got my address on the top there and I think it's looking decent all right so now we're going to texture this a little bit and we first are going to create a base material for the building um, I'm just going to go with the noise and I'm going to turn the global scale way down. We'll go with something a little bit more on the kind of brick brick side. Um, so I'm going to pull pull in some browns here, something like that. And then I don't need the reflectance layer for right now. So I'm going to drag this onto my entire cube and. The one thing I did wrong that you could improve upon here was um, treating the door the same way I treated the windows. That way it wouldn't just grab the um, entire same texture. But it's no bother really. Um, we're just going to pick um, what we want to do as far as our um, window sill material. So I'll do that next. I'm just going to create a kind of a black um, color. I'm going to add my reflection in legacy mode here and in my layer mask I'm going to add a Fresnel just to give it a little reflection there and I'm going to kind of drop that down so it's not too intense and drag that onto my front window cool um, that's good for now and we'll do it on this we'll do it on all of them And then I'm going to um, obviously add a little bit of glass to my window here. Um, so what I'll do is uh, I probably just need to select all of these and select their children. Oh no. So I'll just go ahead and select all the children and then I'm um, just going to go in here and holding down shift select all the glass sections a little bit of a pain um, probably only need it on my you know main street facing sides but let's just do it for the whole thing not in a hurry cool and we'll create a new material and we'll just kinda go with a uh, bluish a light blue color. I'm going to add a Beckman and just kind of use a lot of that. And I'm going to drop that on there. Let's see what that looks like as far as glass is concerned. Looks looks decent. Okay, cool. So now we got to work on the front door. Select my cube. Definitely want to grab these first. Um, we'll throw that material on there, and then I'm going to grab the frame and that's where we're going to put our black material. And um, yeah, I think. I think we're pretty much there as far as the apartment building is concerned. Uh, if we take a quick render. Good enough for creating a kind of a basic game map. 